said the UK had less supply of the vaccine than we might have hoped for in the coming weeks, but we expect it to increase again through the course of April. Vaccine rollout would be slightly slower than we might have hoped, but not slower than the target we had set ourselves of offering a first dose to all people aged over 50 by the 15th of April and all adults by the end of July, he said. Anyone with an appointment for a second jab should have complete confidence that they will go ahead, he said, adding. The month of April will be different, and it was always going to be, because I think this will be the month that second jabs exceed first jabs. Under 50s, we'll have to wait. Monday NHS sources said there would be a big increase in the number of people being offered vaccinations in the coming days after the UK received the first shipment of the AstraZeneca vaccine from India. Professor Martin Marshall, chair of the Royal College of GPs, said over the next two weeks the NHS would be pushing on with vaccinating over 50s and vulnerable people while it had a bumper supply. He said the announcement of a shortage was disappointing news and it would impact the group we were hoping to start on in April which is the people under the age of 50 without any pre-existing conditions who would now have to wait until May. More than 25 million people in the UK have had a first dose of a COVID vaccine, while around 1.7 million have had a second jab. After opening up appointments to all over 50s on Wednesday, the NHS in England was then told not to offer jabs to younger age groups throughout April. Professor Adam Finn, a member of the government's Joint Committee for Vaccinations and Immunisation JCVI, said the disruption to supply meant the UK's rollout would be going from extremely fast to somewhat less fast rather than juddering to a halt.